Hey guys, happy Monday. I am back here with a, another video. I just got home from a school trip actually with my son, so it's already almost 2.30. I'm gonna have to go back down and grab him after school, but I'm taking him to grandma's for a little bit, so I am able to finish this project. I do have a customer who is wanting me to turn a little pair of jeans into a pair of bell bottoms for her. So, well, not for her, but for her daughter. So I thought it'd be fun to bring you guys along with me in case you ever wanna do a little DIY, turn those skinnies into to bell bottoms because I guess that's the trend now um, so yeah let's get to it I have looked at them I was going to do my regular bell bottom pattern that I generally use but for the bell you need a ton of fabric and I did get two little pair of jeans from my customer but they're just not gonna do it I did try my own jeans and they're also not gonna do it so I've done a little bit of research and we're gonna try a different way this is a new way completely new to me so don't judge me <laughs> and we'll get through this together so these are the jeans that we are going to be using they are a kids size 5 jean and generally, well, my original plan was to cut this off and just add the bell on, but it's not gonna be that simple because we don't have enough jean fabric. Um, this is the pattern that I generally use and you have to cut it on the fold. So you need double this amount of fabric, which is like the whole pair of jeans. So that way it's just not gonna work. So what we are going to do is we are going to, so the knee is obviously here. You're going to take a seam ripper. Uh, this will be your best friend if you are a sewer. And you're going to seam rip up to just under where the knee would be. So I've done this side as you can see and I'm gonna go ahead and do this side. I will speed it up for you guys. It was actually really a really easy stitch to get out. So I'll speed that up for you guys. done the seam ripping you're going to put it kind of put the leg on its side and then make a triangle like this so I'm gonna grab my measuring tape we're gonna want to measure each of the sides and then the bottom across and then the height so that we can get the perfect measurement to cut out a triangle to insert right here. I am going to use this uh, navy pair of jeans that I have, but she also wants a print on it. So I'm going to just cut the same triangle. I'm gonna sew it on the jean first just to make it more durable because this is a very light fabric. And then we'll go ahead and insert our triangle in here. So grab a measure, measuring tape and start measuring. So I've got my measuring tape. I actually just got this handy dandy measuring tape at the Home and Garden show this weekend and it's actually perfect for um, sewing, you know? So we're going to do, for this particular pair, we're going to do seven. I like to draw a picture because that's just who I am. We'll double check that this one is also seven. And then across the bottom is exactly three and a half. So this is without a seam allowance. So you're gonna wanna add like a quarter inch or half a quarter seam allowance to your cutout. So I'm actually gonna add probably half so yeah, we're gonna add half. So it'll be seven and a half and four is what we're gonna be cutting out of our extra fabric. And I'm a visual person, so I'm gonna go ahead and make a pattern piece out of paper first so that I don't screw up the fabric that I want to cut here. For the hot got my triangle piece here. I basically just drew a rectangle with the measurements and then went in and did the triangle to make sure that it is perfectly triangle. So then you're gonna go ahead and put your pattern piece onto your fabric and then you're just going to cut it out. I'm still leaving a little bit of extra room 
on the outside just to be sure. So we'll just cut that all the way up. All right, so we've got our triangle and then you're just gonna do that again. So if you're doing just the jean pieces, you're gonna need two of these. If you are doing the fabric on top, then you will need to cut two more of these as well. Now we've got our pattern pieces gonna cut out. I'm gonna go ahead and get my serger out and attach the cow print onto the jeans. And then we will get my sewing machine out and sew them on to the triangle. Our two triangle pieces here. And now we are going to want to stick them in here. I'm not really going, I'm not used to using pins, honestly. I, I freehand a lot of stuff and I'm pretty good at it, but we are going to use some pins for this just to make sure that we line everything up nicely. So what you're going to do is, mine's actually really nice because we can line up the edge of the fabric with the serger thread, which actually works out really nice, but you're just gonna go in about a quarter inch again, that's your seam allowance, and we are going to just pin it in place all the way up the triangle like so so you can see that it's just gonna line up perfect once you're done pinning you'll have something that looks like this and now that i'm looking at it honestly i think i might seam rip this side and add another piece just to make it more bell bottomy i mean the bigger the better right and it's for a birthday party so she's just gonna look so special so yeah i think after some trial and error and reviewing this i'm going to go ahead and do this side too so completely up to you if you want to add it on both sides or just the one side this one will give you a little bit of flair or you can have a lot of flair um yeah so let's hit the sewing machine I'm not going to hit the sewing machine quite yet because I just realized it's three o'clock and <laughs> I've got to go get my kid from school. So let's go ahead, do school pickup, and then we'll come back and hit the sewing machine. We are back from school pickup and this is what it looks like. I believe I showed you before I left. So we're going to go ahead and just sew right down here and down here to secure this piece on to the jeans. Oh, mama. Tell me to leave you us alone, no not now I've been trying to reach you baby To understand you better baby Tonight Take it all the time I need to wrap my head around you Cause God knows I want ya You take it everything for me The first triangle piece sewed on Honestly I'm not gonna lie it was a little tricky doing it um, like this on the sewing machine. I did get a little part of this hung up on the stitch, but I just used the seam ripper and like seam ripped that and then just put in a new seam. So it worked out. It's actually looking super cute. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to do the other side. I'm going to repeat the seam ripping all the way up to under the knee for the insides and place the triangles in there. So I'm just going to speed all of that up for you guys. It is your choice if you want to just have the one side or both sides on each leg. Come on, help me, I've got everything seam ripped now and actually I mean, which makes sense. The pattern piece is perfect. So you can do the exact same size 
triangles for each of those sides and it should work out perfectly. triangles sewed on to each of the pant legs they look so cute i am so excited to see them on her we've got the end result here they are so cute i am really happy with how they turned out i did want to do some patchwork on them but i would have had to take the pants apart in order to get them through my sewing machine so i just decided to use some of the leftover uh, fabric that I had I just surged the edges and made this cute little belt so it kind of ties everything together but I'm really excited for her to see them they're so cute she is apparently obsessed with cow print so I think these are going to be perfect for her well guys that is it for this video I apologize if my instructions are not very good this is my very first time teaching on a video so Hopefully you understood all of the steps. Again, any questions, feel free to message me. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to our channel and stay tuned because I've got lots more videos coming your way.